Hello and welcome to recording on the 4th of February. I'm recording a trade that closed on January 31 that I failed to make a video for and to present to you guys. And it was on Edison ED at 75.8 percent return in four days. So let's go look at the numbers. So, okay, starting off here, you can see that we was the first of uh, January 28th to the 31st. And there it is. The trade was triggered on the 28th, and we were exited on the 31st. So, and our our cost was 347 going in, and our out was 610. So, let's call up our trusted calculator. Oh, you can see I did the numbers already. Let's clear that up and do it again. And here we go. 610 gross return minus the 347 cost, equaling a profit of 263, and 263 divided by the cost of the three of the 347 oopsie 347 percentage and there it is 75.8 that's what it was okay so let's go look at the chart and get some further depth on this trade and there it is okay so the trade was set up here now this was a stochastic uptrend EMA. What that means is now I did a day trade. It wasn't a attended day trade, but it looked good. And I said, yeah, I'm here already. I'll go ahead and do it. And it was close to getting close to the closing of the hour. Uh, now, a couple hours. It was like 1130 in the morning. So I saw the uh, I saw this uh, setup and I set it up and the closing, the price was closing and hovering around here on the 10 EMA, I believe that's 10 EMA. That is the 30. It's the 30 EMA. So the 30 EMA, we're hovering on the 30 EMA. It was stochastics on the indicators, and it was an uptrend. And it also uh, the the close. Um, uh, see, we, stochastic was going up. The uptrend was, and it was uptrending. The uh, the 30 day was the average was uptrending. That's what up the trending stands for. And there it is. That's the trade. Now, the beauty of it is we were triggered the next day virtually at open, which is great. We got a nice uh, fill. Uh, we were anticipating 351, and we actually got filled at 347. So uh, we actually got a decent, very decent fill. It's a 9.6 allocation on the on the account. This is the Tigers account. We haven't seen the Tigers account come back to, and trade for a year. Uh, the allocation of the Tigers funding was moved over to binary options, and that did not go well. Uh, binary options is day trading on steroids, and I just could not handle it. And uh, the account over at the binaries is now 50% uh, down, and we're just going to sit there until uh, I have an auto trade on it right now, and we'll see. If, uh, if it will come back. Uh, focusing here on the Tigers, the Tigers did get funded. Uh, we were able to, we had to liquidate money from IRA's account and that money came here, uh, $3,260, making the account, the start, the start number for this account is three, it's the, the, uh, the account start, so the Tigers, Oh my goodness, what what apropos. This was the Tigers account, and this is the year of the Tiger. 2022 is the year of the Tiger. And the start is 36666. Oh, oh, the religious people go crazy on that one. Oh my goodness, it's the 666. It's going to be the end of the world. Okay. Good. All right. Enough of the jokes. It's late at night. I'm, I'm getting giddy and I got to get I gotta get this done. All right. That's done. So that's our start for uh, for this account. It's with the Tigers account. So it's not a bad start for the Tigers. We have uh, we have a nice win. 75% in four days. So uh, the next day, we got triggered here. And then the following day, it moved up and hit our third ratio. Now, this trade was taken off the body and the low of the candle. Why? Because it was an STO with the close of the EMA. 
That's what this is about. Now, yes, I could have gone off the high candle. The problem going off with the high candle is that you're, you're uh, going into a higher risk. Stochastics is not the best of indicators. It, 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 to me, it, I find it a little bit flimsy, but I has done produce some very good return trades, so I can't totally argue against it. And you know what? Let's do an experiment. Let's see, had I gone with the high, would I still hit the third ratio there? No. See that? The third ratio would not have been hit there at all, and we would not have gotten into this trade. That's another thing, too, about entering on the body of the candle and not the high of the candle. Now, there are, school, there are different schools of thought of this. High of the candle is supposed to give you confirmation, and it's supposed to be not as aggressive. You were letting the trade go forward into being more conservative. If the, tri if the price doesn't trigger off the, off the high, then the order gets canceled, and you go take your money back, do it with the scan, and then come back and do it again. Uh, going on the body. Now, who likes the body kind of trading? Well, there is uh, Mac, no, Michaela, Ma, uh, Michaela La Timere. She is a body entry person, OTA school. My main armor mater is body person. That's the IBC school of stock trading. Uh, another, there's another school of thought on the on it, and I forgot who it is. I've been to 50, over 15 trade schools, so they get all after a while. They they all sort of blend together. All right. Uh, that said, let's go ahead and do the data. Oh, the anticipation was on the on the two channel re, uh, regression was this low point to this entry candle, which projected out and said that we should be we should cut the third ratio here approximately on two eight. That was the anticipation. I didn't expect it to get such a nice push out. That was really cool. So we got a nice push out to get that trade. And I've been doing it. This was STO was down here. It was not our channel breakout. Okay, so uh, we take profit. That was the bottom line. At, at 85.60 was the target to take profit. And there it was. We hit 85.60 and we did it in four days, which is really kind of cool. Uh, so that, uh, go ahead with the numbers, there's a stochastics, with, as I mentioned earlier, there was the value, the stochastics at 64 at the time, and it was only 2.2 million, which is really not, which is really surprising for this kind of move on such low, low volume, but it, uh, it was there. Um, and then one, one contract, and uh, it's a delta 74. It was a Delta 74. Now, I don't remember what DIR, what I put DIR for there. Hmm. I don't remember. Okay. Uh, estimation was 351. I mentioned earlier, we're at 347. We got triggered. And then the final numbers is down here at the bottom. Uh, There's 263 return on the trade. It was one contract, 263 minus $2 in trade. Made it, made it 261 on the trade. And this owed 11.39. Then now it has a new O of 8.78. And that is the conclusion of today's report for uh, Edison. It is exiting out at 75.8 in four days. And we'll catch you on the next video because uh, we have another big winner that, that I'm going to have to catch up on. To oh, it happened yesterday. So we'll catch up on that video next. So thank you very much for stopping by, checking it out, and uh, catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.